Welcome to the channel. I am Charlie from Sanu Motors. Today I got Volvo XC90 2015 model. I am going to show you how to do rear brake disc and pad. If you still not subscribe my channel, please do it now and press bell icon then you can get my new videos. If you have any question, comment, suggestion, please mention below. I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Right, I'm going to show you this is the OBD connector underneath here. I'm going to show you how to release electric parking brake with the computer first need to ignition on mode because this vehicle has a keyless entry you need to do don't going to press any pedal leave it everything as it is then after that you need to turn this knob to the start side and the holding one two yeah if you hold in like a three second it's coming to the ignition on mode then after that you need to press the brake pedal and release parking brake once you release this sign going to be disappeared see it's disappeared now then after that you need to go to the computer special function depend on your computer I'm using Mac tool computer brake reset okay Volvo okay I'm going to select brake pad replacement okay automatic search automatic scan right there is instruction vehicle must be stationary must be in operating key engine off yes parking brake release yes already I released the parking brake press ok then I have to press start I'm going to press start and after that parking brake enable release release the parking brake start maintains exit maintains model start maintains mode I'm going to press right now you can see here at the dashboard ABS light blinking parking brake light blink that means it's ready for the service mode then I'm going to leave it my computer as it is after that I'm going to ignition off leave it everything as it is and I'm going to back this is the tool we needed for the this job if you have a, like a heavy duty 3 ton jack it's a bit handy 2 ton jack not enough for this job and also this is brake cleaner cleaning this and also we need a copper grease and this is silicon grease for the slider pin and the brake pads then I have a ratchet gun impact gun if you don't have this two don't worry you can do the manual way and also you need a number seven allen key allen socket whatever T30 this one and half a short extension this is this is number 15 mils two socket 10 mil spanner 15 mil long spanner and also you need a wire brush and breaker bar and also you need a wobbly head long ratchet and the smaller ratchet half an inch and two screwdrivers and also if you want you can use like that mat for your knee safety this is the tools we needed I'll mention everything in the description at the moment I am running with minimum facilities 
I need a advanced tool for do these videos then after that my videos more free and more details I can give it to you if you can go to the description and give us for donate it's very helpful please think about that one also let's go for the job straight underneath here jacking point when you do the job you can see the square bit underneath after that i'm going to remove this cap for wheel nut you need a special tool like this if you don't have one i'll mention link below you can go through there and you can buy this one this is 19 mil nut After that, we need to remove this spring. You can use flat screwdriver. And sometimes if it jumped, it's coming to your face. Be careful. Then after that, I'm going to use flat screwdriver and pressing the caliper piston as a normal way <coughs> right after that what we have to do remove this dust cap I think Allen number seven, this one holding. I'm going to release this now. I'm just going to crack with the ratchet, then after that, I'm going to use my spanner because no space there. Number 10 spanner, 10 mil. Right, after that you can press in this caliper pin slightly, then lift up this one. In beginning, uh, you need to lift up this one. In beginning, I mentioned to you, you can do without computer. What you have to do, one allen screw here this side and another allen screw in here this side, you can see is the one you need to remove these two after that you can lift up this whole plastic cover then there is after that uh, the shaft there then you can rewind that shaft and you can do the manual way but however i'm not uh, introducing that way because the dealer recommended this way then i had to follow the proper way if you want to do the opposite way also you can do it that's why i want to show that one then after that i'm going to remove this holding screw in the disc if some reason if your disc spin you can use fat screwdriver leave it here then after that you can remove this screw but my one come out easily then I don't want screw bit right Next step, I need to remove this caliper holding bracket or caliper runner. It's holding with uh, 15 mil two bolt, but however, I can't use the ratchet because there is uh, not much space. Because of that, I'm going to use my spanner. If you have a spanner, 
it bit sandy otherwise you have to struggle a little bit out after that I'm going to clean this caliparana make sure it's clean nicely otherwise you ending with sisa break or uneven break pad wears Clean. Next step, I'm going to compare all these can new this. Make sure exactly right size. Yes, I'm happy. Holes. Yeah. Yes, I'm happy. Then after that, I'm going to install this this. Before that, make sure clean around this surface because it's come with the oil coating you can see and also clean this surface no need to clean inside or this side leave it as it is better to leave the oil coating for the future Then after that, I'm going to apply a little bit copper grease for this screw. When you're going to remove next time, it's very easy. Just do the hand tight. After that, I'm going to install this caliparana before that I'm going to apply slightly grease not too much slightly here they are here and they are just tiny bit don't going to apply too much I'm going to tight two nut for the caliparana Right, nice and tight. Oh. You can see as yes, it is, there is a two type of brake. One brake pad has a internal groove like this. This one need to go inside, and the other one need to go outside. I'm going to check with old pad and the new pad, identically same. Then other pad stuck here right I'm going to check outer pad that's one also identically okay then I'm going to apply sidely copper grease this here install then after that other side same thing need to apply a little bit copper grease and install after that I'm going to take out slider pin see it's a lot of dirt build up here you need to clean nicely
nice and clean now you can see after that i'm going to apply a little bit silicon grease this is special grease for the slider pin no need to apply too much just tiny bit and after that i'm going to install bottom one after that i'm going to remove the top one when you're going to remove the slider pin make sure go one by one first take out one and clean and install after that go to the other one because this car has a same size because some cars top one one size and the bottom one little bit long or shorter be careful be aware of that one because of that one i'm going to say take out one clean install after that go to the other one without any hassle after that i'm going to apply tiny bit silicon grease don't going to apply copper grease because when the dust go in this copper grease little bit getting harder because of that i'm going to say better to apply silicon grease also i'll apply the link for the grease also well have a look my description please right this piston need to go little bit more in i'm going to use my special tool for pressing rest of bit if you done it first time it's very easy however i done i thought it's enough but uh, now it's not enough because of that i had to using this tool and pressing the piston now you can see piston go in in now and after that i can install caliper right nice and in i need a Number seven Allen key. Right, nice and tight. After that, don't forget to reinstall this. Dust cover, one for top, one for bottom. After that, this is retention clip. You can install one side like this. Hold here, and you can press from the finger. Now it's okay. Make sure all way in. Right after that, I remove from here. Make sure install to the this clip like this, and one more final checking. Everything okay? Yes, everything all right. Then after that, I'm going to install tire. Don't going to tight too much your wheel lock nut. Then once you done the job, make sure remove this one and leave it safe a place. Then after that, I'm going to lower the jack. Right. After that, you need to install this caps. all in done 
then after that we need to go inside and reset from the computer electric parking brake I'm going to show you how to do it with the computer let's go inside the car right done the rear brake pads now you can see still your brake light parking brake light blink don't going to press any pedal computer will do the everything I need to do ignition on hold to the start side three four seconds it's will on see it's on now then after that need to go to the computer exit from maintenance mode I'm going to press that option then after that you can hear brake winding noise at the back After that, I'm going to start the car. Now, release, parking brake lift up. Again, release. Now, stop the engine. Now, you can see, parking brake like on steady. Then I'm going to start the car again. You can see as it is, all going fine, no any funny warning light at the dashboard. Then one more time I'm going to release parking brake. You can see light disappeared and lift up. Now all fine because what happened once I going to reset from the computer, onboard computer identify your piston very widely open. That's why the funny light coming on. After that you have to press three four times this pedal and switch off the car switch on again and after that couple of time operate parking brake switch then after that everything fine thanks for watching this is the way you have to do the rear disc and pad now you know how to operate from computer and also you know how to operate manually hopefully you can get new thing from me if you have any question comments please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible if you still not subscribe my channel please do it and press bell icon then you can get my new videos thank you very much see you with another video